And in this video, our tutorial, we're going to make this lovely turkey, perfect for harvest themed art or Thanksgiving. And for this video art lesson tutorial, you're going to need a couple things. One is you're going to need some oil pastel. Second, you're going to need some watercolor paints or temper pancakes. Use what you got. And my lovely friend, let's make some art. So we're going to be creating a lovely turkey for Thanksgiving or autumn, whatever you would like to have turkey art for. And we're going to be using oil pastels and watercolor paints for this art lesson. So we're going to first grab a brown oil pastel and we're going to use this to draw our lovely turkey art. So we're just going to put our paper in our landscape orientation. And then we're gonna get going. So we're gonna start off on the left side of the paper and we're gonna begin by drawing our turkey's hand, head. So we're gonna use one hand to hold and one hand to draw. And that way it's gonna make sure our paper doesn't shift around on our table. Cause sometimes when we're drawing it just shifts, right? All, everything on our table. And we don't really want that. So we're gonna use one hand to anchor our paper down. And we're gonna use one hand to draw our lovely turkey. Here we go. First we're going to draw a curving line for the top of the head. We're going to bring it down into a curve and it's going to end in some wavy lines. Next we're going to draw a little snoot on top of the beak there. We're going to add a curving beak with a curving letter V. So it's kind of like a letter V, but with a nice curve on there. And I like to give my turkey a nostril so it can breathe a little easier. And then we're going to go and connect the snood or beak area down to the bottom there to finish the next. We can just draw a nice little line and we're going to finish the lovely neck. And then to make the beak complete, we're going to just draw another line that connects that curve over here and our beak is ready to go. Now we're going to come back and do the eye in a little bit, but I want to do a nice turkey wing. So I'm going to draw a nice big curving line from the neck up and across. And then I'll come back in and I'll draw a second one and connect them in a point. I'm also going to draw a body. So I'll bring another line from the start of the neck across and connect it to the wing. So it's just one big curving line. That's all, just a curving line, no big deal. And then you can give your wings some feather textures. So I like to use curving lines or just straight lines in between to add some wing texture. And then I'm just gonna draw two lines that extend off the page where the viewer cannot see it. Wonderful. Next, we're going to do our turkey's very iconic tail. So we're going to start on one side and we're going to work our way around in an arch. So we're just going to draw two little trace lines out going upward on either side. So they're on a diagonal, just two little trace lines. And I'm going to put one dot at the top where I want the top of my tail to be. And then from there, we're going to draw curving lines. down to one line and then I want to come and do that on the other side going the opposite direction and connect and then I'm going to firm up these trace lines so turkey 
has a wonderful tail. And anytime I'm going too fast or you need me to pause, just hit that pause button or you can rewind anytime you need me to show you that step again. All right, from each of those parts that come down, any, any point that comes down, we're gonna draw a line toward the turkey. So we're imagining that there's a, some sort of dot hiding behind turkey there and we're trying to aim for that dot. Even though we can't see it, we're trying to aim to that one point as we draw our beautiful tail. If you make any errors where you go too far with those lines, no worries. Just take your finger or your thumb and you can just rub it out and I'll create a nice shadow as you do it. And that will just smooth it out and give it a little bit of texture. No big deal. And then you can go ahead and give your turkey an eye and you can design any sort of turkey eye you want. And I like to leave a little bit of white in there so it looks like the light is reflecting off turkey. All right, next we can grab a nice turkey color. I'm gonna grab a purple for the feathers and turkeys sometimes have like these cool colors on their feathers. So I'm gonna just add a stripe and you can add a stripe of any choice color you want. Add your own artist flavor. And add artist flavor anytime you want. You can have it look realistic or you can make it something that's more of an artistic interpretation. It's up to you as the artist of your artwork. Maybe you want to add a little bit of color in the wings or around the neck. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Make your art the way you would like it. And you can always do more than one color. So if you would like more than one color, you can go ahead and do that. add other textures that you want to so maybe you want some background texture or background elements and you can add any choice background elements that you want and add some grass I'm not fully coloring in we're gonna add some paint and paint in the remaining areas but right now I'm just adding a little bit of flavor so it looks interesting and of course I'm gonna get my red here I'm gonna color this part red before I forget and I might add a little bit of yellow to my beak. And I don't mind if it blends with the brown, it makes it look artistic. You can add some to the legs and maybe I'll add some yellow swirls around my background because maybe I'm going to do an autumn sky. So instead of doing just a typical sunny day, maybe it has some autumn flavor. So I'm going to add some yellow swirls on my background give it some texture and some artistic flavor. And maybe I'll do an autumn colored background that way. All right, so once you're done, you're gonna grab your watercolor paints or temper paint cakes, whatever you have, and a dish of water and a lovely paint brush. You're gonna dip your brush in water and then you're gonna swirl, swirl, swirl on your paint. Now, we're gonna start off with a turkey and then come back to the rest. So I'm gonna swirl, swirl, swirl three times on my paint to load up my brush and then I can start painting turkey and as we paint we'll notice that the oil pastel resists the paint so anywhere you put that oil pastel you're gonna see that it resists the paint oh yeah how nice is that paint resistance and that means that all those things that you colored aren't going to disappear and you can paint right over top of them you don't have to worry about painting around lines no big deal 
That's the cool thing about resist painting. And you can use it for all kinds of different ideas. Whatever idea you want to do, you can go ahead and use this technique for any of your own art projects that you come up with in your own imagination. course I gotta do my grass so I'm gonna add some green along the bottom here and then I'm gonna move on and add some lovely autumn colors to my background how beautiful is that now when I think of autumn colors I think of warm colors such as orange red and yellow they make us feel warm and excited and happy they also make me think of autumn because I see those colors on the trees when they change. So if you live in an area where the trees change color, you might see some lovely autumn colors on your the leaves. Or maybe these colors make you think of holidays like Thanksgiving or Halloween, whatever it might be. And at every your reason, you can do autumn colors, or if you don't want to do autumn colors, you don't have to. You can do any sky color you want. Whatever makes you happy, because you are the artist of your own artwork. And the cool thing about watercolor paints is that you can layer them. So I can take my yellow and just add dots here and there, and then those paint colors will add a little bit of magic and once you're done your lovely turkey artwork perfect for thanksgiving or autumn is done hi there thank you so much for watching the art lesson now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore ms artastic art lessons So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library, so you'll get hundreds of art lessons, and then every single month, 
five new ones are added and it there are lots of sneak peek preview videos so make sure you go to artasticids.com hit the get started button and i will see you in the membership and join new art lessons added every single month